as you guys can see, the hamsters have moved into a different whole new cage, like I said in the previous video, um, that they were going to be moving into a new cage. So basically, me and my mom, we went, or I've been thinking about this for a while now, I wanted to move the hamsters into a bigger cage, something that's double the size of their bin cage, because for two dwarfs, it's kind of not fair to keep them in something that small because since there's two hamsters, it should be fairly large. And so I decided to get a Detoff from Ikea. So we stopped by Ikea and picked up the Detoff and set it up. I did try to get a clip of me setting it up, but it's really hard when you aren't allowed to show your face and you don't know what you're doing because I can never figure out how to set up IKEA things and we also needed two people to do it too so yeah and basically if you don't recognize this area you probably won't because this is a, my basement area and the hamsters have moved down into the basement because this is the only really space that they would be good in now it does get cold where I live but we can do um, put heating pads under the cage for winter, put um, blankets on top of the cage to keep warmth in and also more bedding and things like that to help prevent it. It also doesn't get that cold in my basement so it's not that much of an issue. So I've put both of the dwarfs in here and they're having a blast running around. I'm so excited. Um, we do have a lid set up. We have their this detox is actually a glass, con um, a glass container, not a glass container, a glass um, shelving unit type thing. So it's actually not supposed to lay like this. It's supposed to stand upright. Um, and you have these glass shelves you put in here this way. But we've used them to put on the tops um, on either side. And we've attached um, their old bin lid just because we don't want the cat to get them because there is a couch behind this tank here. And I did put the water bottle right here if you can see. I've, I'm probably going to figure out a better way, probably put some Velcro, um, but that's what we'll have to do for now. They can reach it. I've put a um, bendable bridge there so they can um, reach the water bottle. So that is how I've done the lid. We can also do a different lid in the future if we wanted to. Also, I'm thinking of taking the title as Queen of Hamster Cages because I've gone through so many hamster cages. I feel bad because I've probably done like so many different videos with different cages. Maybe one day I'll like go through every single one that I've had from the beginning of my hamster owning experience. <laughs> so yeah. Basically, altogether, this cage was, I think, it was $59.99, so it was around $60. And the, um, what is it? Measurements of this cage, the width, or no, the width this way is, I think it's 16 or 13 inches. It'll be on the screen. And then the length of the cage is, ooh, I can't remember. It'll be on the um, screen as well. Same with the height of it. The hamsters cannot climb out of the cage, but there's a lid for anybody wondering. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out and I think the hamsters are going to really enjoy it. This is also really close to where my room is, so I'll be able to come out in the night and like watch them because I think that's really cool. And I'll just be able to see them a lot more because I spend a lot of time in the basement area. So yeah, that is all for this video. Hopefully I'll do maybe a cage tour. If you guys want, you can request a cage tour in the comments below. Maybe I'll try to do that. Or if you want more information on the cage, um, just ask in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. See so yeah, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.